Jupiter is not what you imagine. Almost everything you were ever told about this planet is incomplete, outdated, or simply wrong. The truth is stranger than the textbooks, stranger than the diagrams, stranger than anything you learned in school. Jupiter isn't a floating ball of gas. It isn't a cloud-covered giant with nothing solid beneath. Jupiter is a liquid world, and buried beneath that liquid is something even more impossible. A planet made of metallic oceans, superheated storms, and a core that breaks every rule of planetary science. The deeper we look, the stranger it gets. This is Astrion. Before we dive into the heart of Jupiter, help us reach 3,000 subscribers, hit 500 likes, and drop 500 comments. The top comment will be pinned. Now, let's step inside the largest mystery in the solar system. The first close image humanity ever captured of Jupiter came from a spacecraft called Pioneer 11 back in 1974. A grainy, trembling photograph of swirling cream-colored clouds, beautiful but silent. Five years later, Voyager 1 swept in and sent back the first moving images of Jupiter. Wide bands churning like living rivers, storms curling across its surface, light and shadow dancing over an alien world. They were breathtaking, but they didn't answer anything. If anything, these early glimpses only made Jupiter harder to understand. What is this thing actually made of? How did it grow so enormous? And why does nothing about this planet follow the rules? Understanding Jupiter's true scale is almost impossible. Every other planet in the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, you could combine all their mass together and Jupiter would still outweigh them. Its volume could hold a thousand Earths, maybe more. If Earth were a grape resting in the palm of your hand, Jupiter would be a basketball rolling across your floor. That's the size of the object sitting in orbit alongside us, shaping the solar system with its gravity, influencing comets, asteroids, maybe even the formation of Earth itself. The traditional story of Jupiter's birth sounds simple. Long ago, the early solar system was just a disk of dust, rock, metals, and gas spinning around the newborn sun. Over millions of years, pieces collided, merged, and grew. One clump became large enough that its gravity began pulling in gas from everywhere. Hydrogen, helium, swirling clouds drawn inward until the planet ballooned into the giant we see today. If this were true, Jupiter should have a huge, solid, rocky core buried deep inside. A miniature planet that acted like a gravitational seed and gathered the gas around it. But there's another theory, one most people never hear. Jupiter may not have formed inside the solar system at all. It may have been a massive cloud of gas floating just outside the sun's reach. Over time, that cloud collapsed under its own weight, the same way a star forms. Only this cloud wasn't massive enough to ignite into fusion. It became a failed star, a huge sphere of gas drifting alone until the sun's gravity captured it and pulled it into orbit. If this were true, Jupiter wouldn't have a solid core at all, just layer after layer of gas becoming denser and hotter the deeper you go. For decades, we believed the first story. It made sense. It was neat. It was logical. And it was wrong. The mystery broke open in 1994 when something extraordinary happened. A comet named Shoemaker-Levy 9, already torn into more than 20 pieces by Jupiter's gravity, slammed into the planet with unimaginable force. The largest fragment released energy equivalent to 300 million nuclear bombs. We had not seen anything like it in our lifetime, and this kind of event happens maybe once every 6,000 years. We were unbelievably lucky, and even luckier because at that exact moment, NASA had a spacecraft heading straight for Jupiter. That spacecraft was Galileo. As the fragments hammered Jupiter's far side, the planet rolled around, revealing massive dark scars in its clouds, each one a wound the size of Earth. Plumes of material shot thousands of kilometers upward, and Galileo moved through the debris, sampling what had been blasted out from Jupiter's depths. And inside that debris, scientists found something unexpected. Water. Not a few droplets. A surprising amount. Enough to prove that Jupiter's atmosphere and inner layers contained far more complexity than anyone imagined. 
That discovery triggered the creation of a new mission built specifically to uncover Jupiter's hidden interior. That mission was Juno. Launched in 2011, arriving in 2016, Juno carried instruments capable of measuring Jupiter's gravity, magnetic field, composition, and the structure hidden beneath the clouds. And what it uncovered erased decades of assumptions. The surface of Jupiter, if we can even call it a surface, starts in the cloud layer. The temperatures here fall below minus 100 degrees Celsius. Droplets of water freeze into crystals. Ammonia acts like natural antifreeze, blending with the frozen particles to create a strange slushy mixture. When ice and droplets collide, they electrify the clouds and ignite lightning storms far more powerful than anything on Earth. These storms generate hail-like balls of ammonia water that fall downward, melt in deeper layers of the atmosphere, then evaporate and rise again like a constant planetary heartbeat. The Great Red Spot, that swirling, monstrous vortex, is a storm so massive it could swallow Earth whole. It rises higher than any other cloud structure, reaching into sunlight, absorbing ultraviolet radiation, and reacting with chemicals to create its deep red color. Even saying thousands of kilometers wide doesn't do justice to its size. Imagine a storm taller than Everest and deeper than Earth's oceans combined, and still too small to describe what Jupiter creates. But for all its beauty, this cloud layer is extremely thin, maybe 50 kilometers deep. Beneath it lies the real Jupiter. As we descend, the pressure intensifies. Hydrogen gas thickens, becomes hotter, becomes denser. The deeper we go, the more hydrogen compresses, until around 1,000 kilometers down, it stops behaving like a gas and becomes a liquid. Not water, not anything familiar, a shimmering, transparent ocean of liquid hydrogen tens of thousands of kilometers deep. This ocean is the largest in the solar system, but it gets stranger. At the bottom of this hydrogen sea, temperatures soar past 10,000 degrees Celsius. The pressure becomes so extreme that hydrogen atoms are crushed together so tightly their electrons break free. The hydrogen becomes a liquid metal, a metallic ocean capable of conducting electricity, swirling and churning to create Jupiter's immense magnetic field. This metallic hydrogen layer is enormous, nearly 40,000 kilometers deep and more alien than anything else we know in nature. And beneath it lies the core, but not the core we imagined. Instead of a neat solid ball of iron and rock, Jupiter's core is fuzzy, a chaotic region where metallic hydrogen blends into superheated rock, metal, and other heavy elements. No clean boundaries, no fixed shape, just a strange shifting mixture that could extend across half the planet's radius. This shocked scientists. According to simulations, a fuzzy core shouldn't last billions of years. If Jupiter suffered a massive collision early in its life, perhaps with a planet 10 times Earth's size, the impact would have temporarily scrambled its interior. But simulations show that the core should eventually settle back into a solid form. Yet Jupiter's has not. Meaning something about this planet's birth, evolution, or composition still defies our understanding. We can model it, we can observe it, we can simulate it, but we cannot yet explain it. And that's the beauty of Jupiter. For all our missions, all our satellites, all our decades of research, it remains a cosmic riddle, floating beside us, glowing softly in the night sky, daring us to keep exploring. Astrion thanks you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Jupiter's hidden reality, help us reach 3,000 subscribers, hit 500 likes, drop 500 comments, and remember, the top comment will be pinned.